University Minister Dr. Hossein Sharamakhofa has announced the selection of preferred bidders under the Battery Energy Storage Independent Power Producers Procurement Program. And it is in line with the department's integrated resource plan. Newsroom Africa's Mobile Madlala is live with the minister now. Good morning, Mobile. Good morning, Iman. This is very important, of course, as you said, that projects will also see South, Af South Africa having a storage for the amount of power that you may not be using during the peak time. I want to bring in the minister now to give us more details of that. Minister, it's been a long-awaited time to see this process taking place. Take us through what has come out. Well, it's important that uh, it's going to uh, increase our grid capacity. As we know now, during the day, we are generating excess uh, capacity, largely coming from solar PV. We have a benefit of over 7,000 megawatts. The problem is that late in the evening, when you don't have uh, the sun, um, and when the peak um, uh, is, uh, is, uh, uh, is attained, um, you don't have the benefit of uh, what we had during the day. So what we're doing with the uh, battery storage is that this excess generation capacity, we are storing it, and then during the evening when the sun is not there and there's an uh, uh, increase in, uh, in demand, we are able to draw from the energy that we would have, uh, would have stored to support the, the peak demand. Now how do we support the peak demand? Unfortunately, if the system is not uh, performing well, it's under strain, we have to ban uh, diesel. And we know it's exceptionally expensive. And that translates into higher um, uh, energy or electricity costs. Now what we're trying to do with more and more battery, uh, that gets to be charged from cheaper uh, sources of energy like the sun during the day, the wind uh, at night when we're sleeping, uh, to support peak in the morning and peak in the evening. Uh, the more you have battery, it means that you are able to bring down the cost of electricity and then uh, you can stop these runaway tariff increases for households and industry businesses becomes more competitive, capacity utilization increase, we are able to lift the South African economy. So that's the, the significance of uh, the announcement we are making today. Minister, you have this company that is also homegrown. Take us through the name of the company, perhaps what it is, and also how much are they investing in the economy with regards to this project? Well, Mulilo is a homegrown uh, outfit uh, by locals. Uh, the total value of the 616 megawatts that we are announcing today is just uh, above uh, 9 billion rands. Uh, so that's the size of the ticket that gets to be uh, invested here. So I think what is important here is to illustrate that uh, with the majority of the electricity sector in the country, especially um, uh, cleaner sources of energy, now you are having local players who are able to raise their hands uh, and say that uh, we have got the know-how, the technological expertise, they are able to raise the money in the debt capital market to support their participation. So the participation of South Africans doesn't only rely on BEE shareholding, but the genuinely homegrown South Africans. But we're taking it a step further. Uh, because of uh, our history, I think we've got an obligation to ensure that you deracialize, uh, if you like, uh, the economy of the country, and that's why that dispensation for black players will always uh, remain. A minimum of 40 percent uh, black participation. Everyone, Lilo and Skatek, who have won this round and the previous round, have to meet that uh, minimum floor. That's the floor, that's not the ceiling, the participation could be significantly higher. But what we want to do going forward there is to, is to ensure that uh, we are able to uh, support black participation from an equity participation point of view. And that's why your DFIs are going to be very important so that you design a special dispensation to support the uh, black participation. The second one is to build an industry on the back of what we are doing. We're going to announce the IRP 2025. You'll see that battery um, energy storage solution is still going to be a big part of that. Solar, and PV, and wind, a part of that. So you need to build an industry on the back of that. If you look at the previous bid windows, we have invested upwards of uh, 240 billion rands, but there is no industry. We are not paying manufacturing. Uh, um, panels at the right numbers, uh, right quality, uh, and also at the right price. We are not manufacturing batteries. All of these things will be imported into the country. Of course, there's a condition for local content, uh, about 3.7 billion rand. But out of 9 billion rand, that's, uh, uh, we need to up the game. So we have to be deliberate, and that's the direction we're taking.
Yeah. And Minister, I understand that the, the goal was, of course, to create this 28 uh, gigawatts, uh, gigawatts of power by 2030. Um, how far are we on that project? Yeah, remember, that's additional, in addition to what we have. Uh, so so we, we have done about um, 7,000 on the grid solar PV. Uh, if uh, the others get to financial close, we'll get to about 8,000 megawatts or so. We're bringing battery on, on stream. Uh, what we have done, the total uh, three bit windows for batteries, 1,744. So we're just close to 10,000. So you can see that we still need uh, another 20, um, um, uh, 12 to 15 um, gigawatts. Uh, and, and you'll see we, we will be announcing what will be coming from ESCOM because ESCOM will also be playing in the renewable energy space. So ESCOM will cease just to be an off-taker of uh, clean um, uh, sources of energy. ESCOM will play in that space. And of course the RP will also say something around the role and place of, uh, of nuclear hydro. So you'll see, we'll, we, we'll get to that mix. But the issue is the speed and the ability for us to get to financial close be able to raise the necessary capital to support this investment, especially on the ESCOM side, the one that comes from private sector. Private sector will engage uh, with the financiers in that space. So speed is important, certainty and predictability from the regulation um, and permitting side, and that's our domain, and that's how we're going to accelerate this path uh, towards uh, uh, energy security in the country. Thank you very much for speaking to us. That is Dr. Josie Ramahoba. He is the Minister of Electricity and what he's explaining there, Iman, is this new um, project that they have announced, which we know that is going to be ensuring that there's enough power, where there's going to be storage of this power in a battery for about four hours. And we'll be able to discharge this should there be any need for extra power during the day. Mobile Medlana, thanks for the updates.